to the mistake that like the burning river. river. Burning river. Burn on. History. I wrote it yet again many years ago. It was uh, someone I went on one date with, and then we went on a second date, and they were like, I, need, I don't want to talk to you again. And I'm like, that's fair. That's fair. It happens. At least you told me, you know? But I wrote a really quick song, and like, then I just kind of forgot about it, because I was like, well, what's, who cares, you know? <laughs> but, in the always good at, at uh, shooting myself in the foot uh, thing, I, I threw this song randomly on like a site for licensing or whatever, you know? And there's, and I threw a bunch of other songs on so people can listen to your songs and be like, oh, I want to put that in my movie or whatever. Or my little commercial for Clorox bleach, whatever. And uh, all my other songs have maybe zero to five listens. And for some reason, this one has like 19,000 listens. <laughs> But no one will license it because the opening line is a curse word. So, oh, you gotta fix that. Quick. Way to go, me. Way to go, me. Well, I wrote the lyrics differently than they're sung because I didn't. I don't have the tapes anymore to re-record it. So I'm just hoping they read the lyrics and go, "Oh, he's not saying holy shit. <laughs> he's clearly saying keep your wits." Clearly. Clearly. So this is. Josh, can you hang out a minute? Yes, I can. I see, I see the error of my ways, Mike, and I apologize. No, it's fine. But we do need to get you some help after that last song. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 